Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to be working on a really colorful animal print nail art design. You're going to need about five of your favorite nail polish colors. And if you have short nails, this design is going to work just as great. You can see there that this is about half of the length of my nail, the size of a short nail. And I was able to fit all the colors, um, the zebra stripes and the leopard print. So go ahead and grab your favorite colors and let's get started. The first thing I've done is I've used a white nail polish and I've just applied one coat of the white nail polish. The reason I've done this is I want all my nails to have the same background color and I won't have to be going over my colors more than once. The first coat I apply with each color will be vibrant enough because of the white nail polish. The first color I'm going to be applying is a yellow. I'm going to be using this one by Best Sense and it's number 03. I'm going to start in the very corner and all I'm going to do is apply the yellow sideways. That's how we're going to be applying all the colors sideways and um, you can see there that the colors go on really vibrant because of the white background. The next color I'm going to be applying is this green one by Santi and it's called Viking Green and I'm only going to be applying it the same exact way we applied the yellow going sideways. So I'm going to start low and I'm just going to do a stripe The next color I'm going to be using is this one by Santi and it's called Flower Pink. It's a really nice vibrant pink. I'm applying it the same exact way, low and going sideways. Remember it's okay if they're not perfect. And there we have the pink. The next color I'm going to be applying is this purple one by Best Scent and it's number 36. I'm applying it the same exact way, sideways, and you can see there that it's not perfect and it's not even, the application is not even and that's okay. That'll add to the effect at the end. The last color I'm going to be applying is this one by Revlon. It's a blue and it's called Typhoon. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these three colors, my purple, pink, and blue, and I'm just going to be striping certain areas over my yellow, green, and pink. But we're not going to do too much, just one here and there. I'm going to start with the flower pink by Santi, and I'm just doing a stripe like that, just staining the nail, that's all. I'm going to move over to my green area, and over my green area I'm going to be applying some of the blue by Revlon Typhoon. Now I'm using my purple and I'm just going to do that area over down. Now over my blue and purple area I'm going to be using the yellow and the green and all I'm going to be doing with these is spots. Certain spots so that we could do our um, leopard spots over the bottom area. I'm starting off with my yellow and I'm just doing random spots. You can do as many or as little as you want. I've only placed four. Now in between those I'm going to be making little spots of the green nail polish. The last step for doing our background is optional. You can already do your zebra and your leopard spots with this background, but one thing I'm going to add in this step is optional. I'm going to be using a glitter polish, and I'm going to be using this one by Wet n Wild, and it's called Confetti. It's just a white glitter polish. Once your background is completely dry, you're ready to go in and start doing your zebra stripes. I'm going to be using a nail art polish in black by Clean Color to do the stripes. I'm going to start low and the reason I'm doing this is because I know how far I should go. So put pressure on your brush and let it go lightly. And we're starting sideways. I'm going on the opposite side and a little bit higher I'm putting pressure on my brush and letting it go sideways. Now I'm using a black nail polish and all I'm doing are going around certain of uh, the spots we made on the bottom. And it could be the green ones you're going around, it could be um, the yellow ones, it could even be in the blue area. So we're just doing those little shapes in the bottom 
our leopard shapes. Now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do certain areas um, in black. I'm just going to spot certain areas. The last step is to apply your top coat. Any top coat of your choice is going to work great. This will help your manicure stay nice and vibrant. What I do is I apply a top coat every other day. This helps keep my nails strong and um, my colors, my nail art design stays on for a week. And when I remove it, it still looks nice and in good shape, but I have to remove it because of the nail strengtheners I use. They indicate that I'm supposed to remove them once a week, all my coats. So what I'm doing is cleaning the sides, and that's it. That's how you're going to get this nail art design. It's a really fun, colorful nail art design to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try it out. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.